Let us pray before we hear the word of God. Father, we thank you, God, for this morning, oh God, as we're going to hear your words this morning, oh God. I pray, oh God, that your spirit, oh God, fill this place, oh God. Let your spirit, oh God, move upon this place, oh God. Touch every heart, oh God. Touch every people in this place, oh God. You move upon us, oh God. Heal every sickness, oh God. I pray in the name of Jesus, oh God. Let your spirit, oh God, move upon us, oh God, this morning, oh God. Let your words, oh God, touch every heart, oh God, this morning, oh God. We pray, oh God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and an amen. The Amalek's defeat. Verse 8. The Amalek came and attacked, Israel, attacked the Israelites at Raphidim. Moses said to Joshua, Choose some of our men and go out to fight the Amalites. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the staff of God in my hands. So Joshua fought the Amalites as Moses has ordered. And Moses, Aaron, and Hur went to the top of the hill. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. But whenever he lowered his hands, the Amalites were winning. When Moses' hands grew tired, they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. Aaron and Hur held his hands up, one on one side and one on the other side, so that his hands remained steady till sunset. So Joshua overcame the Amalite army with the sword. As we know, when they came out, they risked everything. Their generation, their future, everything they risked. And we know in the battles, there is always, if they lose the battles, either they die or became slaves. But what we see here, Moses, Aaron, and Hur went to the top of the hill. The Bible said three of them came to the top of the hill. They said with the staff of God in their hands. And then as long in the first eleven said, as long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. He's only standing on the top of the hill and raising his hands up with the staff of God. You know what that means? It's pray. There is power in prayer. You see, the, when he raised his hands up, the Israelites were winning. But when he lowered his hands, it said the Amal is getting stronger, the Amal is winning. The first thing I would like to say here, without prayer, we can do nothing. Amen. We need prayer. Because sometimes when we face problems, when we face circumstances, when we, when we face a lot of problems in our life, sometimes we depend on our strength. We depend on how we do. We depend on man. You know, there's a word of God said in Jeremiah 17, verse 5. It said, this is what the Lord said. Curse is the one who trusts in the man who draws strength from mere flesh and whose heart turned away from the Lord. You know, and the Bible said in chapter, uh, verse 7, Jeremiah 17, verse 7, Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. Sometimes we put our trust, we put our, you know, our strength on the man. But I, wanna, I would like to say, blessed is the one who put the trust on the Lord. So if you are here today, you know, you are not wasting your time. Because when you pray, there is something happening. When you pray, the Bible said here in, this, in the story, as long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. But whenever he lowered his hands, the Israelites, the Amaleks were winning. What does it mean? I mean he should keep on praying. Tell your seats, mate, tell your besides, keep on praying. Don't stop praying. 
There are a lot of people when they face trouble, when they face their enemy, when they face their problems, they stop praying. The key of the battle is in the prayer. The Bible said when, in the verse 12 said, when Moses' hands grew tired, you know, as a man, if you, came, if you come to Israel and then I lived there in, uh, in 2018, if you ask people about Moses, oh, people say that he's a great man, he's a great man, Moses. But if you look at the Bible, even Moses himself feel tired. Sometimes we cannot pray anymore. Sometimes we are tired, we, are, we want to give up. But the Bible says it's here in the first 12. They took a stone. Who is they? Aaron and Hur. They took a stone and put it under him, and he said on it, Aaron and Hur help his hands up. Means there is unity. Amen. Without unity, you will not see victory. Even Moses himself cannot win the battle alone. He needs Aaron and Hur to support. Aaron and Hur didn't say, Moses, give your stuff to me. He knows the authority is in Moses. He didn't say, oh, Aaron, come on. Aaron and Hur, come on. Moses, give, give us the stuff because you're tired. Come on, change. No. But he knows the authority is in Moses. That's why the both of them support. There is, stay, tell your seatmates, you need me. You know, sometimes in the family there is no unity. Sometimes in the church there is no unity. Everybody wants to be leaders, like everybody wants to hold the stuff. <laughs> yeah. And look, look at this. So Joshua overcame in the first 13. Joshua overcame the Amalek's army with the sword. Whatever happened in the prayers, when you win the prayers in the, you know, spiritual warfare, the things in the field is just, it's the result of the prayer. The things happen, so why Joshua can overcome Amalek? Because there is prayer. So sometimes a lot of people don't understand, they think they can solve all the problems with their mind, their strength. You know, sometimes a lot of people think that prayer is not important. But I want to tell you this morning, prayer, you risk everything because every day, every day is our battle. In the prayers, there is family, there is future, everything, your generations, your families, your works, open your land, everything is in the Now to him who is able to do immerse more than we ask. Amen. More than what we think. You know, in the mountains when they came to the mountains, they can they didn't know what happening in the field. <laughs> But they prayed, they seek the Lord. Moses seek the Lord. He cried out the Lord. He looked at the Lord because you know all of our strength in Him. If we did not pray, oh, it's very dangerous. You know, that's why we need to pray. Come on, let's read. In the Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, let's open our Bible. It says in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, but those who, who, who put, uh, who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and, know and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. When we depend on God, you know, there is something happening. So prayer 
One the things, prayer is very important. Because in the prayer, you put everything, your life, your family, your job, your future, everything is in your in the prayer. And when you stop prayer, what's the Bible said, the enemy getting stronger. The enemy were winning. That's why you don't stop praying. Romans 12, verse 12 said, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. We need praying. We need unity. You know, without prayers, you cannot see, you cannot, you cannot win the war, you cannot win the fight, you cannot win the battles without prayer. If you want to overcome, you need to pray. You need to pray. When you pray, it brings impacts. Tell to your sinmates, prayer brings impacts. Amen. Amen. I see how God moved until today. He's the same God. He never changed. Apostle Paul said in the Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse three and four. He said, "For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight." We are not the weapons of the world. On contrary, they have divine power to demolish stronghold. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. We need God. We need Him. The purpose we are here gathered here together because we need him. Amen. We need Jesus. Amen. We need Jesus. Transformations came when there is prayer. Amen. Your city can be changed when there is prayer. Amen. All the people in the governments, you know, they need prayer. Without prayer, you will not see, you know, the enemy will pray around the government, playing around the city without prayer. That's why we need to pray. Even in your family, when there is no prayer, you will lose a lot of battles. Prayer is not the tradition things that you need to do, but prayer is a relationship with God. Holy, holy, holy. Jesus, when you experience God in your life, it changes your life. Your life will not be the same again. This is generations of God. This is your people. God. This is your children of God. Jesus. Jesus, they need you, Lord. They need you, Lord. They need you, Lord. Jesus. Jesus, they need you, Lord. You are the Lord of Lords, Jesus. Jesus, name. Jesus, name. Jesus, name. Oh, Jesus, name. Oh, Jesus, 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 name. I pray.